Backlink is one of the most powerful signal in case you wanted to rank your WordPress blog. But the problem is how to manage those links within your blog. The blog can have external backlink coming from the external sources or can have the internal backlinks which you linking your one blog post with another. So in this video, I'm going to introduce a must use plugin which I've been using for more than four years to manage all my backlinks. And believe me, after watching this video, you will feel a lot of relax in terms of the link management. So in this video, I will discuss about three important part. What exactly the name of the plugin, how that plugin works, Number two, we'll do the installation of that plugin on our WordPress blog. And number three, I will give you complete overview or the options within the plugin, which can really help you in your link management. So guys, my name is Kirti Shwayas and on this channel, I do create content around WordPress helpful tip and review of the best powerful digital marketing tools to make your digital journey easier. So if you really found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like the video and let me know in the comment box what will be the next video you are looking on this channel. So without any further delay, here we are on the screen. As of now, you can see the name of the plugin itself is a link whisper and I will give a link down below. You can simply click it and come to this page. What this plugin is all about. You can see here in this demo, basically this plugin, once you will install on your website, it will crawl all your pages and will try to get the details of every single link, whatever the link you have linked within the blog post or to the external blog post. And it has one amazing feature. If you will be publishing a new blog post and would like to link it with an old one, you don't have to open your existing blog post. So all those amazing feature we will also discuss in this video. So you can see here how exactly this will look like. You can simply modify the anchor text you can link it with different blog posts everything you can do with this plugin well the best part is if you go to the pricing section here you can see if you wanted to use this plugin on single website it will cost you 77 dollar on three website will cost you around 117 dollar uh, already having a site license of 10 website which i paid around 167 dollar if you will click to the link which is given in the description i will also try to provide a special promo code Basically with the combination of both, you will get additional 10% discount. The clicking the link will not cost you anything extra, but will definitely generate a small commission for making this video. Without any further delay, let's start step by step how exactly you can install this plugin. For that, here you can see this is my own link whisper account, which is I'm already having for a very long time. If I go to the managed sites, you can see I already having an active license, which will end by 2023. Now, what we have to do is go to the my download section and here you will get a plugin. So click to this link whisper premium item. This will automatically download a zip file. And this is what we will be installing on our website for time being. Here is our dummy blog post on this blog post. I will install that plugin. So go to the plugin section, click to add new, click to upload plugin, choose file, select the zip, which you just now downloaded. This is the premium plugin. So open it, click to install. Now click to activate plugin and once the installations and activation is done on the left hand side, you will find it an option called link whisper. So now this is the first step where you have to paste your license key so that it will activate and will start using this particular tool for that. I will go back, copy my license key. So this is the license key, which I will copy. We'll go back to that site. We'll enter that license key license, activate license. Here you can see our license key is now activate. Once the license key activation is done, then the game will start. Go to the complete install. Then after run a link scan, what it does is it actually scans every single backlink of your website. It could be an internal backlink or an external backlink and will give you a general report. So here you should be able to see after some time once this will be completed. So here you can see this is my new website, which is a dummy website. It says that your website has most links to domain 56 to teachku.com. So that's the uh, my own domain itself. And I've linked with this around 56 link. This is another website to which I have a three link. This is another website to I have a two link. So likewise, it will give you complete idea what exactly your page is, which page is linked with what page, everything. So instead of going through this dummy account, what I will do is I will take you through my own account, which is running on site called soundproofidea.com. So on this website, if you will go there, it's a totally Amazon affiliate website. And there you should be able to see how many backlinks I have and how many I have been managing from here. So start from the link stat under a dashboard. What is this? 
If you go to the post crawl, it will give you an idea how many posts you have on your website which this plugin has crawled. And after crawling all the pages, how many link it has found? So around 5,341 links on my overall website. It could be external link or it could be internal link or any certain anchor text if it found on my website it has listed it out here. Another one is internal link. How many links I have within my blog post itself? That means internal link means soundproofidea.com. One blog post is linked with another soundproofidea.com blog post. And this is an orphan post. That means these are those blog posts which are neither linked internally nor externally. So I can open them and can link them with my existing blog post. This is actually going to give you an idea how many broken links you have. What does that mean by broken links? If you will click to any link and you will figure out a page like 404, that means the link is not working. If any such case it found, it will list out here and similar applies to the 404. So it will give you an overall summary of your website. In addition, it will also give you an idea how many external pages or how many domain you have linked within your blog post. It could be your internal or could be an external. Okay. So likewise, you can easily manage what are the domains you have linked with so if these are the spammy domains you can easily remove them from this dashboard itself and this will give you an overall overview on how exactly the overall internal and external link balance on your website every time when you will come to this page what you can do is you can click to run a link scan it will again crawl through all the pages and give you the updated records which i just now did it now let's go to the link reports and this is really most powerful thing and now let me give you complete idea how exactly this uh details has been tracked here so if i will go to view will open in a new window you will figure out this is the blog post now there is no inbound internal link that means no existing blog post giving to this blog post any link however we are giving five links to this five blog post so if you will copy this anchor tags search it over here you will figure out this is one of the anchor tags if you will click it it will take you to the existing blog post of my own website because it's an internal inbound link so you can see this is the blog post i have linked with this one so in the future if i wanted to remove this what i can do is i will select it delete select it, and automatically it will update the blog post so you don't have to open the blog post everything you can manage it from here itself now if you really wanted to see what exactly the external blog domain you have linked with the blog post click to this one search this keyword Go back to the blog post and this time search that keyword and you will figure it out this is the anchor text and if you will click it it will take you to the outside of our domain which is a to z animals.com so likewise from this single dashboard you should be able to manage everything whatever the blog post you have linked or would like to link now let's say there is nothing linked with this blog post and remember it's quite difficult let's say if this is a new blog post and you wanted to get a backlink for this blog post from an existing blog post the challenge is you have to open the old blog post then find out a keyword then map that keyword with this link that means it will be a lot of hassle you have to figure out what blog post to map but from this single section if you will click to add it will take you through that blog post and will automatically scan all the website different different blog posts and will tell you you can link this blog post under this this domain simply checking this title keyword so it will figure out whether it will found a noise keyword or a make horrible noise keyword in any of my existing blog posts so it identified under a break tenancy agreement due to noise under this blog post it has identified a sentence like share the noise experience you have been dealing with so if you want you can click it and or uh, there is another blog post which is this one classed as unreasonable noise from neighbors if you want there is within this blog post you will open this blog post under this you will figure out a sentence a deal with noise so let's say deal with noise copy this and go over there and simply search your deal with noise so this is the keyword it has identified it says like you can link this keyword with your new blog post if you want you don't have to edit that window simply select this one and then what exactly the anchor text you needed you need this as an anchor text to link with this blog post or a different one so uh, you can see like i need this one if you wanted to add additional text simply select this and automatically it will increase your anchor text so you don't even have to edit the blog post simply select what anchor text you need and it will automatically link with that keyword so power time being i will select this one once you're done with that scroll down it will scan all your website and will give you multiple ideas click to add links now the moment when you will click to add links select over there what is that so basically deal with noise so i will select it here come back and then click to add links now wait for another 10 or 20 seconds you will figure it out this time we have one internal link so you can see it is it says success so now what we can do is 
let's go back to the report section and see whether it shows one link added as a inbound internal link or not soon after this if you will come back to the add inbound internal links and now if you will try to validate you can see why do maggie piece now it has one inbound internal link if you scroll down you can see what blog post you have linked with and what particular anchor tags if you wanted to have a look of it open it in a new window and search for this keyword deal with noise and we are expecting under this blog post this particular link we have added with new blog post so you can see how it will look like under this this is already been added so likewise you can do those changes within this plugin not only that if you will click it you can also make changes with this particular anchor tags what exactly you need it in terms of the sentences or anchor text so likewise this plugin will help you on all those things whether wherever you will found that you don't have an inbound internal link you can make changes from here if you think you wanted to link external you can do the changes from here as well now that's the one thing the another one is a domain report that will give you complete idea how many domains you have linked with your website internally or externally so in future if you wanted to have the balance of this if you found like you have linked a lot many times with a wikipedia or amazon.com then you can make changes simply checking which one is invalid you can directly remove it from here and it will automatically update your blog post the another one is a click report it will give you an idea which link got how many clicks so that you will get a good idea whether this is really a helpful page or not or whether this particular link you should have on your blog post or not so likewise it's kind of a clicks report you will get error report in case your page is having any 404 error or not found error or any sort of orphan pages something you can get that idea from here now the another bit is if you will go back to the dashboard section under orphan pay post so these are those blog posts which has no internal link just now we added the first one likewise if you wanted to add your something click to add again same thing for this specific keyword it will check your overall website and will try to figure it out where it can get something similar keyword and sentences so that you can link such orphan blog post and it will automatically move those orphan into the linked blog post hopefully you got the clarity how this plugin can help you in link manage and if you really found this helpful make sure you try it at once and see whether it's really helping you to do all the link management or not i believe you found this video really helpful if this is the case make sure you subscribe to this channel and hopefully you will get more inputs in the future as well thank you very much for watching this one see you in the next video